Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I think this is the start of a, a brand new like thing on the channel, uh, reacting. So, Compi uploaded a uh, Compi. Sorry, not Compi. Compi uploaded a new video uh, yesterday, which I've got to say is the, the really cool. It's not that one, even though that's probably my favorite. Uh, it's the Apatosaurus species profile, so we're gonna react to the Apatosaurus. Extracting species profile. Apatosaurus. A large sauropod that lived during the Jurassic we're period. We're actually gonna North react America. to like three today. Apatosaurus had a whip-like tail to counterbalance its long neck. It may have been able to use this tail as a basic defense, as well as its sheer size. This is really cool. Apatosaurus is among the largest creatures ever to exist, reaching 23 meters long and weighing 23 metric Whoa. tons. Oh, so thank you, Compi, for Only making my dream come true. This is name, basically the, the best add-on ever created. Shared the Morrison formation with many other sauropods, ornithopods such as Stegosaurus, and ferocious theropods such as Allosaurus. Okay. Okay, so the next one I'm going to be reacting to is uh, a one that's the coolest. Um, well, not the coolest, but it is cool. This one. Extracting species profile. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Mosasaurus. Whoa, that's sick. An apex marine predator from the Cretaceous. A close relative of snakes and monitor lizards, the Mosasaurus ruled the Cretaceous seas, driving the Jurassic Pliosaur predators to extinction. Mosasaurus would have hunted a range of prey, such as fish, sharks, and plesiosaurs like Elasmosaurus. You should definitely subscribe to him and... Mosasaurus was equipped with two rows of teeth in its jaw, a that's feature it shares with funky. snakes. Whoa, that's so cool. Young Mosasaurus may have lived in family groups, as adults may have been highly territorial. Whoa. I love the colors as well. Evidence no. suggests even baby mosasaurs were on the menu for the larger 20 meter adults. That's kind of um, that's kind of brutal. Uh, adult mosasaurs eating their own children makes no sense to me. Hey, that was cool. So guys, I'm gonna pick one. We're gonna react to, um, it's not a species profile now, but it's gonna be something even cooler. Let's go to this, uh, Battle Arena Paleocraft. And we're gonna be reacting to the T Rex versus, uh, the Giga. Hello, and welcome back to CompyCraft, and we're finally back in the Dinosaur Battle Arena. Since the Giganotosaurus okay. was released the other week, a lot of you have been asking to see Giganotosaurus versus T-Rex in the Battle Arena, so that's exactly what we're going to see today. And in this Hammond Creation Lab right here, the Giganotosaurus is awaiting release. It's the darker variant which I would say is the female but because it guys, lacks by the way, really if reddened crests. For it in Let's the open comment the gate section to the below. Creation lab. You're probably stupid as anyone basically. The gates are open. It's Let's not even released yet, and it's a marketplace add-on, so. And now let us head over guys. to the hatchery, where the T-Rex is ready to be released. This battle, I would say, is fairly evenly matched. The crushing bite of the Tyrannosaur versus the slashing, serrated teeth of the Carnosaurs could go either way. And so far, the T-Rex has won all the episodes that it's been in this arena. So let's see if the Giganotosaurus can take it down. Open the hatchery gates. 
and activate the feeder. This way. Let's head over to the far side, where we've just been, of course, and start drawing both creatures towards the center. The Giganotosaurus is snacking on that goat. That would be a second goat. The feeder must have been activated for a second time. Let's start drawing them towards the middle. Yeah. They've got all sorts. Have you got one to um, I really have no idea what will happen here. Where's the T-Rex? The T-Rex appears to have vanished. There's a goat there. The T-Rex is still here. We're needing to restock the feeders. It's slowing down. What happened there? Prowling along. It's a behaviour I've not seen before, but I quite like it. I didn't do it that time though. It went straight in. Took both goats. The central feeder is activated. Where's the Giganotosaurus? Here it is. That is amazing. Just taking a Combies in the greatest to work of ever seen. Taking a few seconds to eat those goats, and they're fighting. at it and takes it down. The T-Rex has been defeated in the first round of this battle. Let's see if Giganotosaurus can continue the success against the Tyrant King in round two. The hatchery gates are open and the T-Rex has been released. Let's activate the feeder. And whilst that feeder is being activated, let's head over and see the Giganotosaurus on the far side. The gates are also open. The feed is not yet activated, but the Giganosaurus is released. It's another dark one. I'm going to call this the female one. Originally I said it was the male. I'm going to say that's the female. Because in nature, males often have the brighter colours, like the red crests on the lighter variant of the Giganosaurus. But let's see the T-Rex. Going in for that goat, it's no longer prowling, which is a shame. I did quite like that, but it's just random. It'd be nice to see a bit more of that behaviour, but let's see. The T Rex is coming into this goat. And having it in there. The Giganotosaurus is here as well. This is an intense battle. Very intense. T-Rex is down again. The Giganotosaurus has won two battles in a row. It's 2-0 up from the T-Rex. Can it do this? Can it finally beat the T-Rex? We've never seen anything take the T-Rex down. But let's see what happens in round three. If the T-Rex loses this, it has lost this battle episode as a whole. But it's been released. It's a female, Rexy, a Jurassic Park variant. It's been released from the Hammond Creation Lab. So let's head over and see the Giganotosaurus that's awaiting release on the far side. And the gates are open. Already been released. Where's it gone? Has it run out? No, it's not. It's only just come out. We've got here just in time to see it. The feed has been released. And it's going in for the kill. There it is. It's a fast creature. It's very big and very fast. I would say for a player, it's an even bigger problem than the T-Rex. T-Rex does have the more crushing bite. But as we've seen in this episode so far, the Giganotosaurus appears to have the upper hand. The T-Rex is going in for the goats. And it's heading towards the Giganotosaurus. 
it down. It bit down on its neck and crushed its neck. The T-Rex has finally won a battle in this. Sorry, should I say it has won a That's round a good death in animation. this battle. The T-Rex has now won round one I really round. I don't know what I'm saying. My voice has gone weird. The T-Rex has won one round. It's now down to round four. Remember, if the Giganotosaurus wins this round, it has still won the whole battle, as it would then have a majority. But let's see what happens in round four. Here we are in round four. The Giganotosaurus is still one point in the lead, but the T-Rex has made an attempt to catch back up in the last round. Oh, the gates are open to the hatchery, but the T-Rex has not yet tried to get out. Hardly. For a third time, the Giganotosaurus has won this battle. I can't believe what has happened. It's I'm sorry, guys, but... The feeder. the feeder has been activated. And this is pretty much... I can't believe what has happened in this battle.